Here we go, back on track in the Corvette Z06 with the Z07 Performance Track Package and Carbon Fiber Wheels. Today we're throwing it back to an awesome racetrack that is officially demolished as of today. Yep, Auto Club Speedway has been deleted from the track roster. Let's get on track for this epic tribute. Plus stay tuned till the end for an awesome update regarding the Z06 versus the upcoming ZR1 and all the new supercars down the pipeline. Let's do it.
believe is going to have all the handling characteristics of the Z06 that we love, but it won't have many limitations because on these straightaways, the fastest I was getting to was 158, 59 miles an hour, basically 160. Other cars that are turbocharged out here can go 180 miles per hour. We're in the era now of the 296 GTB. We're in the era now of the SF90s, the 750s. These vehicles can go extremely fast, nine seconds in the quarter mile. We got to get a Corvette that fast. It's just one hindrance I keep talking about over and over again throughout the, the years is they need to figure out the drag because the drag really slows you down when you have so much fixed arrow and downforce. I have to be honest, the Z07 that I'm driving right here, it doesn't have the highest amount of downforce ever. It's got a lot. It's very balanced, but it doesn't have 1,896 pounds of downforce like the GT3 RS. It doesn't have the level of downforce I think it would need to distinguish itself even more. On the racetrack, it's not only about accelerating, it's mainly about maintaining speed. If you can accelerate very fast, that is gonna give you so many more seconds to drop off your lap time. If you wanna maintain that and achieve GT3 lap times, you know, IMSA lap times, those vehicles have that speed, but they don't need to slow down to the same extent as these street cars do. There are many problems that, that make the this, these street cars slow down. We're talking about street legal tires. They don't have the adherence level of a racing slick. They are more compromised because they need to be uh, reliable for high mile street use, even punctures, if you know what I'm talking about. Downforce and weight are two main key aspects that will make the ZR1 compete with these new vehicles over the horizon. Even the example spy shots we've been seeing all over the internet of the new Huracan replacement. I love going to the track. I can't wait to go to the track very soon. We have our new 750S coming in. I think it's going to be very fast. I love sharing all these different performance vehicles, um, their characteristics, what they're all about out here. It's exciting. Being able to test a wide variety of vehicles has really opened up my mindset. It's funny to me because this Z06 is pretty close to a 4G in terms of performance on the track. It's incredible how fast it is. Anyways, I just wanted to throw it back today because this legendary track is officially no more. We're driving a legendary car on this track. There's so much down the pipeline. It is so exciting right now. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. It really does help me out. And subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. Hit the notification button as well so you're up to date on all the videos. Yeah, that's right. Click the all button to get all the new videos coming out. Notifications for them, that is. Please let me know what car you would like to see on track next. I'll see all of you in the next episode.